for the Aucklanders, who are the largest lockdown in New Zealand history. You are because more people are jumping on board and saying, well, I went for it, but I'm realizing, man, it's never gonna end. It's not gonna end until I stop it. And so I just wanna commend you all for being the courageous ones throughout the nation. You guys are the New Zealanders who've got the courage to stand up for the future of our country and uphold the rights as free New Zealand. We have enough support here today. We don't plan to leave. I mean, I know I came here for results. Who came here for results? Yeah. You know, we're tired of March. We know we've got the mandates that need to go. Proposed legislation. The immediate restoration of our universal inalienable human rights, medical professionals to follow the principles in the NZMA Code of Ethics, all media to have freedom without censorship. You hear that? This is how you unite a nation. For the last two years, New Zealanders have been told to be kind. Yep. We've been told we're a team. But every team requires leadership. What kind of leader thinks it is okay to encourage bullying in two classes of society? Multiple groups have come together and united under a common goal, freedom. It's about your kids who can't play their favorite sport. It's about family members who have been excluded from family gatherings. In 2019, the government allocated $1.9 billion to be spent on mental health over the next five years. The same government spent $62 billion on the COVID-19 response. It is time to put an end to the mandate. Yeah! being here to ensure our freedom is not mindlessly given away through apathy and inaction. Thank you for instead making a stand so those who come after us, our children and their children, can live in a world where they have sovereignty over their body, their movements, their being, their self-expression, their well-being, mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, because what this government is doing is wrong. The Kiwi spirit is much too powerful for your lies and your deception. No doubt be described as a fringe element by the mainstream media tomorrow. We have to know the enemy we're dealing with. We have been fed a diet of fear and we have been told to obey or else you will be punished. Now, in my book, that doesn't sound like a caring, freedom-loving government. I can't explain why they, in their hubristic pride, would now go after our children. To say what happens in my body and to live my life how I want as long as I don't harm others. So we in my group at nzdsos.com have been trying to alert Parliament and regulators to import new safety concerns on behalf of everyone but no one will even speak to us. So 
thank you all for coming and maybe our collective voices will get their attention. To put yourself on the line, one of you for whom freedom is more important than your own pay packet, we paid you to get in there. Now open your mouth, stand up and have some guts. Does anyone want to come out and see us?